Hey guys, today I am going to talk about MetaZoo. What else do we have to talk about, right? And the overwhelming loss of money. So if you are really into MetaZoo, you can get MetaZoo cards at a massive discount. In fact, I would even say you could get five Nightfall boxes at around $40 a box or $200. So spending $8,200 is a lot of money on MetaZoo. Now, money is interesting. Money is, you know, the economy is economy. People seem to believe that the economy is doing well, and maybe it is, but not for younger people. The most people likely to buy MetaZoo, unfortunately, are the people who are hurt by it the most. And I think that has a lot it basically has a lot to say about where we were just two, three years ago where MetaZoo was going to the moon and now it is crashing down to earth, right? A lot of what is happening in MetaZoo is also happening, has also happened to other card games as well. It's just that uh, MetaZoo is a bigger name. It is a, a bigger, it's a bigger name. I was promoted heavily by Alpha Investment, and that's why people know MetaZoo, MetaZoo, MetaZoo. But money is tight. You know, eighty two hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars, twenty eight hundred dollars. What uh, a lot of money has been spent on MetaZoo. I don't think there's an argument on that. A lot of these cards are now ninety percent, ninety five percent. Some of them ninety nine percent. I mean, I can tell you right now, there are a lot of cards right now on eBay. Where the PSA, it's a PSA graded card, and it's less than fifteen dollars. That's a very that's very worrisome because it costs fifteen dollars to grade. So if something is less than fifteen dollars and it costs fifteen dollars to grade, that person is that one hundred percent underwater on that particular graded card. Suffice to just say, no matter what they paid for that graded card for that actual card so you know you gotta be tough you know you gotta be tough with your um you have to um you know you gotta you gotta understand that money is tight for a lot of people money is not easy and it's not going to be easy and i myself have been looking for ways to cut down and save a little bit of money maybe make a little bit more money I do think that um, a lot of people are going to find out, and they're going to find out this very soon, that things are may go belly up. Things may get very ugly very soon, and it's not always you're not always certain that if you love MetaZoo, it's okay. You have cards that you will love forever. And even right now, it's kind of a dead card game, so you can pick it up really, really inexpensive and have a good time. We're trying. I'm trying to. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm trying to pick up a few cases of MetaZoo. Actually, uh, Nick's strength in Pokemon. Nick's strength in Pokemon was nice enough to offer me a uh, a free card, but I said, you know what? Um, I'm going to pass on it. You know, thank you for the offer, and I'm going to uh, go ahead and maybe buy a larger collection. I have been on the hunt, but it's really difficult to figure some of this stuff out because I don't play MetaZoo. So when I see a collection, it's not always obvious if it's like a good collection or not. I do know Kickstarter. I know basics. But now with $8,200, think about this for a moment. What can $8,200 get you today in terms of MetaZoo? Mothman first edition Kickstarter, I think is like a thousand maybe few booster boxes of whatever set you want first edition cryptid nation right first edition kickstarter box it might get be able to get you i think overall uh actually multiple you can get a whole case of kickstarter boxes this is a very interesting time and you really should be more careful about money money is i mean it's not easy to get right now and like i just went on a a date and you'd be surprised how much people charge for val on Valentine's Day for shit. We went to like a Mexican restaurant, really good. 
and then got ice cream at the marbles and you know got some flowers like it's uh it's not cheap guys it is not cheap uh on valentine's day and maybe we'll go out uh, we're talking about this you really like squish maybe we'll go buy some squish on so maybe it would be more expensive the next day when we buy the discounted squish supposedly so we'll find that out very soon anyway uh, my main point is should be like pretty pretty obvious um, a lot of the money that was spent on meta zoo you would have been way way better off just holding that money and then waiting until today and then if you wanted a meta zoo collection go for it if you didn't want a meta zoo collection no harm right you still have eighty two hundred dollars twenty eight hundred dollars the amount of money people wasted buying at the highs and that's my concern right now is they're being told to buy at the high it's just insanity i i'm almost embarrassed for these people who bought at the high because um look at the prices today the prices today are so 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 low that there's not much i can there's not much i can say right you could have spent $8,200 on anything, anything. But you spent it on not, I, I don't have any issue you spent on MetaZoo. Let me make that sure. I have an issue you spent it at the high, 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 right? That's kind of the issue I have is instead of being, uh, or being reasonable, spending it now, like, you know, having money today, maybe you spend $4,000 now, then and you spend four thousand dollars today. Well, the four thousand dollars today will buy you a hundred times what the four thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean, four thousand dollars, you might be able to buy stuff that you've never seen before. To be honest with you, right? Um. Anyway, just be careful, guys, because there are a lot of people giving bad advice online about like I. I always say this, you know, spend money. Only if you can lose it. Go to the casino only if you can lose it. If you cannot afford to lose at the casino, do not go. Please do not avoid the casino. If you're okay, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, do not buy MetaZoo. Please do not buy Nom Noms or whatever. I mean, it's so crazy to me. The same people promoting MetaZoo are now promoting a game with the same artist and the same. I think the original, the creator of that game is a MetaZoo artist. Right? Like, are you kidding me? Like, guys, like, let's use our brains for a little bit and figure out ways. Like, again, I don't think Nom Noms are going to take off because at the end of the day, it's a very different ecosystem. It is a very different ecosystem than it is today. And the, the stimulus money, it's going to have a major effect, right? It will have a major effect on whether or not the game will go to the moon. So, anyway... That's my opinion on it. I think at the end of the day, um, you got to make a judgment based on your own finances. Let me know what you guys think. Bye, guys.